everybody, this is Sherry, aka Abby Mare, and today I want to talk a little bit about service animals and what people think they are. A lot of people ser think service animals are the typical seeing eye dog or the large shepherd or even sometimes the small miniature horses that help people. But service dogs come in many shapes and sizes, and you're seeing my kitchen sink because I'm sitting in a wheelchair right now pointing toward it. And I'm going to make a demonstration in a minute of my little service dog, Hobby, who is only about five pounds, but she can save my life. And I'll show you this. Um, first of all, I'll make Hobby's been trained to respond to three sounds that I commonly make. One is my severe asthma gasp, like sucking air through a straw. The second is my anxiety attacks, which sound pretty much the same. And the third is some type of weird pain condition where I make extreme sounds of screaming. To give you an idea how bad it is, a friend of ours asked my husband when we were in public, what should we do if she has one? My husband simply stated, put your hand over her mouth. That's how bad it is. I carry strong narcotics to deal with that. But I'm going to make a gasping sound and I'm going to show you, let me turn around here and see where she's at. Oh, there's the kitties. Um, I don't know, she may be behind me somewhere. I'm not going to call her though. So, let me see where she is. She can't be over there because that's the stove. Um, so I'm going to see where she is. Now, I'm going to turn this way and I'm going to make some gasping sounds. And then Hobby, if she's doing her job right, should come up from wherever she is. All right. One, two, three. Good job. Good girl. And when she did that... I gave her a click and a treat. Now, that was good girl hobby. And we'll try it one more time and I'll show you. First, I'll laugh. <laughs> she thinks I'm crazy. <gasps> there, she tried twice to get on me. So, <clears throat> say hi, hobby. And hobby is carrying my, right back here, you can see she carries my asthma medicine. Because when I'm having an asthma attack, I can't think to look to a purse. All I can think about is I want air and I'm dying. When I have one of my leg events, there are some very, very strong narcotics that are in here that um, we need to even get something stronger called fentanyl. But for now, there's a narcotic in there called Dilaudid. And that is just to get me through. This is only if I have... Um, one of these attacks in public. At home we can deal with it, but in public we're going to get fentanyl because it has to be shut down fast or they'll be calling 911 and 911 can't help me. It will just incur a lot of expenses. So there's Hobby and Hobby just doesn't arbitrarily jump on me. Can you say hi? Where are you at? Can you sit? Can you sit? Sit down. Sit. Go on. Sit. Go on, sit. All right, we're working on the sitting. She doesn't like to sit in her vest. I don't know why, but she thinks she has to stand in it. So we'll try one more time, and I'll, I'll go. Right now, she's following me everywhere. We just lost my other service dog. So stay, hobby, stay, 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 stay. St no, uh -uh. back up, stay. And she's still a work in progress. Stay. Uh, no, you can't come with me. We're going to wait. Now I can make some sounds, I won't cough because that's the sound of asthma. <laughs> I can laugh, I can do all kinds of <clears throat> You were supposed to stay, you were not being a good girl. Let's see, she's not looking now, let's see if when she's distracted. <clears throat> there you go. So, she needs work, but she's doing really well. And that's all, I, that's all she needs to do. She needs to get up right in my face if I make any kind of strangulation sound. And screaming is usually a given. She also does it if I cry, but um, like if I fake cry, she knows the difference. Boo, hoo, hoo. Boo, boo, hoo. And let's try it. <laughs> she doesn't even do it. Good girl, Hobby. And I click and treat. So there's an example of how a small service dog 
can do for you. It's not the best example. And Hobby is two years old. She was trained about a year ago. And she was very, very impeccably trained. But we didn't use her for about a year because Belle got too old to go anywhere. And so I really didn't have a service dog. I couldn't go anywhere without my husband. He was my service husband, I guess. But this is Hobby. She's a five, five pound Chihuahua mix. Her real name's Habanero because she's a hot little Mexican mama. And she is my lifesaver. And let me show you once more about her vest. Now, I'm going to tell you guys something about service vests. If you have a service dog, um, you can honestly legally say your dog is a service dog if it is trained to perform something for your disability. And it only has to be you. Hobby won't respond to others. If they act like they're in distress, she'll look at them like hurry up and die. But um, um, it has to be able, the dog has to perform a, a function to help you with your disability. And it doesn't have to be a life-threatening disability. In my case, it is, but it doesn't have to be. So um, whatever you do, don't put some kind of stupid sunglasses and pink frock on your dog and think you're going to gain admission because you're not. Um, go to the Americans with Disabilities website, look at what their rules are, and um, they can tell you how you can get and train your own service dog. You can find out what defines a service animal and what doesn't. And um, if you really need the help, you can get and train your own animal. You don't have to find a trained animal. There was nobody that could train Hobby for what I needed her for. I had to do it. So, and this is also her little um, service tag that says where she lives. And it has a copy of, um, or it has some of the rules on the back for the ADA. And it has my phone number. And it has the ADA's phone number. It's just so small you can't see it. And you can go to activedogs.com and get a nice little mesh vest for tiny dogs. So this is perfect for her. She carries everything I need and I can go places now. And I know that if I have an asthma attack or an anxiety attack or a horrible leg attack, I know that my dog's gonna save my life probably. And I just wanna tell her thank you. Thank you, Hobbs. Are you gonna fall asleep standing there? Aw, oh, okay. Okay, everybody, goodbye, thanks.